After Joe Biden's victory in the US presidential election, many noticed that his family has dogs. Two German Shepherds, Champ and Major. Although one of them is clearly not a German breed, but an Eastern European one. But Biden for some reason calls it German anyway. Maybe Biden says so because he is afraid that he would suddenly be accused of some kind of ties with Russia, or God forbid, with Putin himself. Bringing animals into the White House with the president-elect has long been an American tradition. Previously cats, dogs, horses, parrots, eagles, cows, alligators and even a silkworm lived with different presidents. Donald Trump became the second leader of the country who have no animals after James Knox Polk, the 11th president who was the leader of the United States from 1845 to 1849. Let's take a look at the old American tradition of keeping animals in the White House and consider what kind of dogs Biden chose to guard the White House. And also we will tell you a little about other animals that once guarded the US White House. If your dog also protects and guards your house, then subscribe to the channel and express your opinion in the comments. If you need a friend in Washington, get a dog. 33rd US President Harry Truman once said, this advice has been followed by many American presidents, and Joe Biden liked this saying too. It is clear that the appearance of two dogs at once in the White House, among the Americans with their love for animals, aroused particular enthusiasm and itself became a news feed. Let's first take a look at Biden's older dog named Champ. In 2008, Biden bought a German Shepherd puppy from a breeder in Pennsylvania. It was a gift from his wife Jill on the occasion of election victory and election as Vice President of the United States under Barack Obama. The puppy was named Champ. This nickname has a special meaning for Biden. His father often told him, cheer up champion, when he was going through difficult times as a young man. The German Shepherd is one of the most popular breeds on the planet. And this is not a tribute to fashion, but the merit of all those wonderful qualities that these dogs possess. German Shepherds almost always make it to the top ratings as the smartest, toughest, most trainable, best for anything. And this is really true. The German Shepherd is capable of many things. For example, to reach speeds of up to 48 km per hour and bite with a force of up to 56 atmospheres. Only a few dog breeds surpass them in bite strength, for example the Rottweiler and Pitbull. Sheepdogs can reach their maximum speed almost instantly, and even on sharp turns they do not stumble over themselves or any objects. This is one of the many reasons why they are often used as a police and military dog. The growth of the male German Shepherd dog reaches 65 centimeters, and the weight reaches 40 to 45 kilograms. Dogs of this breed are capable of attacking both smaller animals and humans. They react sharply to any provocation from outside and are always ready to defend their territory from outsiders. This doggy can easily break arms and legs or pull a piece out of any part of your body. Initially, shepherd dogs were bred to guard the herd and they did an excellent job with their duties. But life made its own adjustments. During the First and Second World Wars, shepherd dogs became indispensable helpers at the front. German shepherds have exemplary intelligence and are ranked third in the ranking of the smartest dogs in the world. They learn easily a lot of simple commands. And for this, they only need about five repetitions. By the way, a very interesting fact about the Germans. Many dogs become attached to the owner and it is difficult to endure a separation from him. But not German Shepherds. 
They treat a new person with great interest and friendliness and easily cooperate. Biden is very fond of German Shepherds. He had several of them. In the past, he even trained them. However, Biden's decision to buy a puppy has not sparked enthusiasm among politically active Americans who are in favor of taking animals from shelters. So in 2018, Biden's daughter Ashley started looking for a dog from a shelter and saw a Facebook post about German Shepherds looking for a new home. The Biden family took one dog named Major under patronage and adopted it eight months later. Now Champ and Major have settled in the west wing of the White House where the Oval Office and the work area of the President of the United States are located. Let's find out a little more about Biden's second dog, Major, which he mistakenly calls the German Shepherd. Well, where's the golf club? So, the second dog named Major Biden took from the shelter. Major does not look like a German Shepherd dog. It is most likely a VO dog. By the way, it was the dog Major who had already managed to buy two employees of the White House. Maybe he suspects them of something. Maybe treason. Maybe in connection with the Kremlin. The VO dog breed was created exclusively by the Gulag Sinologists. These dogs turn out to be much larger and heavier than the German Shepherd. The second striking difference is the back line. The East European Shepherd dogs have a much less inclined back than the Germans. Hence the different type of movement of the dogs. In the 30s of the 20th century, it turned out that the Germans did not tolerate harsh climatic conditions. They freeze in the far north and cannot work on the eastern borders of the USSR because of the heat. Then the Gulag dog handlers began to actively work on breeding a stronger and more enduring breed by mixing German Shepherds with Caucasians and Lycas. A new, larger, very obedient dog was bred which differed from its ancestor in appearance, character and range of duties. The growth of this breed reaches 76 centimeters and its weight is up to 60 kilograms which is more than the German Shepherd. Especially worth noting is the ingenuity, logical thinking and the level of intelligence of the East European Shepherd dogs. They are smart, courageous and, which is very important, independent dogs. The East European Shepherd dog is without a doubt one of the best service breeds in the world. Due to its strength, endurance, speed and intelligence, it is a very formidable opponent. A rather massive head, a wolf-like skull structure and large teeth allow the Eastern European Shepherd dog to inflict very strong bites. They bite with a force of up to 62 atmospheres. In addition, these dogs are easily trained to intercept a person's hands during an attack, so it becomes very difficult to kill a dog with a knife. Although by their nature viewers are not fighting dogs, however if circumstances require it, they can enter into a bloody fight with an animal, be it a domestic dog or a wild animal. They fight very competently and have great stamina. In addition to strength and endurance, VOs are fast, have a good reaction and jump well, overcoming any obstacles that the dog can overcome due to its anatomy. Of course, it is not surprising that Biden chose this particular breed of dog. Major is called the first animal from a shelter in the White House. But this is only formally so. Before Major, a mixed breed dog named Yuki lived in the residence of the American presidents, which was taken under the care of the famous dog lover 36th US President Lyndon Johnson. For the Biden sheepdogs, they even started a separate Twitter and Instagram. Social networks are conducted in a cute manner. For example, replacing consonant syllables with the word paw. Well, this is very funny. But there were other famous tenants at the White House at one time. 
For example, Barrack and Michelle Obama have two Portuguese water dogs, Bo and Sonny, who delighted White House workers by appearing with their hosts at various events. His predecessor, George W. Bush, had a black Scotch terrier named Barney, who died in 2013. He appeared frequently in the annual White House Christmas videos and was rumored to be so loved by his master that he put him on a par with his own wife. Bill Clinton had a cat named Sox. He was adopted into the family back in 1991. And six years later, the Clintons also got a Labrador dog and gave him the nickname Buddy. Dogs are the most popular pets of the White House, but even bears managed to live in the residence of the first persons at different times. For example, the third US president, Thomas Jefferson, had two of them. The sixth president of the United States had an alligator, and the 26th president of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt, took zebra as his pet. Opossums guarded the White House with 23rd U.S. President Benjamin Harrison. And during the presidency of John F. Kennedy, the White House was guarded by horses. Two stallions. Other animals once lived in the White House, but that's another story. Well, friends, this is where we end our video. We hope you enjoyed everything and you will share this video with your friends on one of your social pages. Well, we don't say goodbye, but we'll be back.